So last week I made a post where you guys can ask me anything and I'll do my best to get through as much as I can. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. During which era of Warframe did you start playing? And how as a player have you changed over time? So I first started to consistently play near late 2014, I think around October or so, then I really got into Warframe mid 2015. And this was actually on PS4 as I did not have a good computer back then, so I couldn't run the game on my old laptop. So I guess you could say around the DPS meta, I do remember playing a ton of Draco series for leveling and T4 key, so that was the go-to farm for a lot of useful items and whatnot. And honestly, over the years, I just kind of became a lot more casual and chill about Warframe, whereas like 5 years prior, I would be grilling DE for changes they do and always asking for endgame content and such. I used to do a lot of level cap and high endurance runs back then, and this was with the old enemy scaling and damage. So I was a pretty hardcore player, but over the years, I realized that, uh, yeah, staying 6 hours in a survival isn't that fun anymore. I tend to view things in a much more broader perspective now, instead of trying to force everything into the top 1%. Now don't get me wrong, whenever DE does do something stupid or ignorant, I think most of us would call them out for it, but these days I'm oddly optimistic about the game, despite what everyone else is saying. Or maybe I'm just a bit jaded. The name of the game is Warframe, so what type of Warframe would you like to see on the roster, from the concept and name, to the playstyle and lore? This is kind of a tough question. I would personally like to see a lizard or reptile-like frame. I know Chroma is technically the dragon-esque character, but I think a more traditional reptile or lizard frame would be interesting to see in-game, and maybe have the abilities that mix the traditional aspects and capabilities of said animals with fantasy elements, or have the frame transform into a new beast of some sort after building up stacks or something. And we could name it Argoran, which is similar to the Argonian race in the Elder Scrolls games. Have I been playing too much Skyrim recently? Yes. If I could only play one Warframe for the rest of my life, which would it be? It would most likely be Nova. Reason being, I just really like Nova. Her prime design is so nice, her abilities are amazing, I love the antimatter theme she has, I love the particle effects, I just love Nova in general. So if I had to play one for the rest of my life, it would most likely be her. However, my second choice would be Chroma. Do you main slash prefer to play any frames? Personally, I recently started playing Gara again after giving up on her two years ago when I couldn't figure out she's so fun. Trust me man, you've missed out a lot. Gara is absolutely amazing. I personally prefer frames that require a lot more input and engagement, so characters like Harrow, Nidus, and Mag are like really good examples of that. I think frames like these are way more fun because it feels like my knowledge and quote unquote skill are being put to test better, if that makes any sense. What are some of your favorite games like Warframe and Hi-Fi Rush? If you could cover any of them on your channel, would you? Why or why not? Great question. I love hack and slash action games like DMC, Ninja Gaiden, Bayonetta and such. These are some of my favorite games of all time. I also love playing platformers like Sonic, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, or Crash. And very recently, I've also been dabbling into the Elder Scrolls series, I've been playing a ton of Skyrim and going to work backwards to Oblivion and Morrowind, and I do plan on covering more games on the channel later down the line, as I'll be weaving reviews and videos for other games here and there. I think making a separate channel though might be a bit pointless just for non-Warframe videos, so later down the line expect to see more games being covered. I know you have made a couple Destiny 2 videos and I remember that you said you were inspired by the style of Evan F 1997 a little while back. I know that a lot of people that play D2 also play Warframe. Do you and if so, which did you play first? And if you still play Destiny 2, what do you think of Lightfall? And Fashion Frame is the end game, so how do we make a better end game for Warframe in your opinion? And lastly, what is the best way to fix power creep in Warframe? A lot of fantastic questions. So I played Warframe first, however I did used to play D1 and D2 a lot. Actually, very religiously until Beyond Light. And that's kind of how this channel formed. I was so frustrated and angry that they literally removed content that I paid for and then just acted like it was normal was beyond stupid. Beyond Light was just a very dumb DLC in my opinion, stasis was broken for the longest time in PvP, and we barely had any PvE content until the end of the year. 
And even then, they paywall the 30th anniversary dungeon. And after all that, once Witch Queen drops, they remove all the seasonal content again and repeat the cycle. Now, to be fair, Witch Queen itself was a very solid expansion, but the rest of the year was really average for me. Like, ever since the first content vault in 2020, my interest with Destiny just dropped off a cliff. It's hard to take Bungie seriously anymore when they get away with doing the same thing over and over again. So instead, I just played D2 very casually through the year during Wish Queen, but then I stopped playing altogether after Season of the Seraph. I just couldn't bring myself to play D2 anymore. And as for Lightfall, I don't really know how it is because I didn't buy it, but from what others are saying, its story doesn't seem to be all that great, which is actually kind of surprising since Witch Queen's story was actually incredible. So to see Lightfall this year be pretty average or mediocre at best kind of shows the state of Destiny 2. Now, does this mean I hate Destiny 2? Of course not. I'm just kind of fed up with the way Bungie's handling the game, and I can't bring myself to play the game anymore because of that. For me, I just lost the fun factor in Destiny 2. Now the next question is, how do we make a better endgame for Warframe in my opinion? And now this is a more subjective question because everyone has their own view of an endgame. However, personally, I think it's not possible at the moment. The reason being power creep is so off the rails at this point, it's very hard to go and say, hey, let's implement a raid. It wouldn't work unless you really nerf everything back in line. I mean, look at the Archon hunts. Despite DE implementing a lot of modifiers and nerfing the gear wheel for that activity, people can still cheese and one-shot the Archons. Operator mode allows us to cheese a lot of content. Arcanes are just busted giving a lot of damage buffs. The subseam system allows us to create the perfect builds with every Warframe. And our guns just do so much damage. With all the new mods and arcanes we have, it's just very hard to make an end game where we're just that overpowered. The best we have is Riven mods which says a lot about Warframe's late game and replayability. I sadly don't have an answer for this question because I just don't know at the moment. Maybe implementing more replayability could be a starting point for the time being. Will you ever talk about Warframe's lore? It would be really interesting. Now, Stalord has already made a lot of lore videos, although they've been inactive for quite a while. I'll look into it and see if things have changed or not. I mean, things might have been retconned, but for the time being, I don't have much plans simply because there's an entire lore channel that does lore. So until things get changed or if the demand is high, then I'll look into it. What is your favorite color and how long have you played Warframe for? Oh, and what's the software do you use to make your videos? And how long have you been making videos for in general, not just this channel? My favorite color is purple, and I've been playing Warframe ever since late 2014, so this year should mark nearly 8 years. Quite a long time, to say the least. And I use Audacity and Adobe Edition to record audio, and then I edit everything in Premiere Pro. My thumbnails are rendered in Photoshop as well. I used to make content long, long ago in Windows Movie Maker, but uh, yeah, let's uh, move on from those days. What is your favorite weapon of each class? Like favorite primary, secondary, melee, and art gun? My favorite primary has to be the Tigris. This thing just feels so good. It's been crept to hell, but I still love it the day I picked it up. My favorite secondary has to be the Meridetron. It too feels really good, and I know the Tanet is better, but let me nostalgia a little bit. And my favorite melee is the Orthos Prime. And as for the art gun, I love using the Dual Decurions, although Larkspur Prime may give it a run for its money simply because this thing looks absolutely insane. How long does it usually take to make a frame history video? It really depends on the frame itself. If it's a Warframe from 2013, then I really have to spend a lot of time researching and finding old videos and forum posts. If it's a frame from like 2016, then it's a bit easier. I first do research and find the major aspects of the frames during each era, or in this case, each major patch and year, and see how the frame was performing. Even though I've been playing for a long time, I still have to refresh my memory and go back and actually see what the things were like. You get a lot of people talking about the old days of Warframe, but those thoughts are just distant memories. It's an entirely different perspective when you actually see what it's like, so as I'm jogging through my brain remembering all the good and the ugly, I also have to account for the general opinion of the player base at the time. I don't just use one YouTuber for reference, I have to try my best to get the general opinion through various forum posts, posts on the wiki, and old videos. 
Unfortunately, a lot of stuff is lost to the sands of time pre-2016, and a lot of creators in general back then just stopped playing or have deleted their videos so it can be a bit tedious finding information when a lot of stuff is just straight up gone. If there was a site that's just dedicated to archiving videos that would be great, but one can dream. The wiki also sometimes doesn't provide the full patch history, so I do have to go through each update and see the notes. The Rhino video for example, a portion of patches was just missing in the list, so I had to go through each patch on the forum to see what actually happened. Usually researching can take about 10 hours or so, I'll just dedicate a good portion of my time to doing it. After that, I'll write up the script until the present date. After that, I'll go in game and play with the frame for as long as I need to. Despite playing for a long time, I don't play every single Warframe on a constant basis, so some strategies and synergies may be unknown or forgotten to me. After I spend a good time with the frame, I'll go back and write a present review and then begin recording and editing. So on average, I'd say maybe 30 hours or so. However, it still depends on the Warframe. For example, Excalibur took 4 days straight, whereas Wisp was only about 2 days. What would you want changed or added to Warframe in general and to Warframes in particular? There is a lot I would like changed, however, one mechanic I do want is for DE to revert the melee combos. I really do miss the old in-air copter with the previous melee iteration. It's like muscle memory since it flowed with the movement so well, so now just pressing E while in mid-air, it does nothing, which kind of sucks. And as for the Warframes, this isn't really a character related topic, but more so, why the hell is my arsenal so bright? Tone this down, please. What's the thing you most like about Warframe? Simple. The gameplay is just fun. There aren't a lot of games that play like Warframe, and its gameplay is just dumb fun. Is Harrow really your favorite Warframe? I thought it was Nova due to the channel name. As mentioned earlier, it is in fact Nova Prime. Hero, on the other hand, uh, he just looks kind of cool. I mean, I don't even main Hero. I just like his deluxe skin so much that I decided to use it as the mascot. Will Lunaro and Conclave be a staple Warframe game mode? Lunaro, never in a million years, it was essentially dead on arrival. But Conclave used to be a very popular game mode, and a lot of creators would actually dive into the Conclave on a regular basis. And also the fact that Clan Wars was an actual thing in the game with the Dark Sectors, there was actually some good reason to engage in PvP. However, that's all gone, so... Conclave, while still popular within this dedicated community, is just a small part of the game now. When did you start playing Warframe and how did you hear about it in the first place? It was actually my brother who showed me Warframe, but he was the one who played it religiously through and through until 2018. He did pick the game back up though recently, so we've been playing together again. Favorite video among all your videos? I'll be honest, I don't really like my videos, but if I had to choose, it would probably be the Excalibur one. I put the most work into that one, so I guess it's my favorite amongst the rest. Simple question, how's life? Life's been alright, thanks for asking. Favorite music genre? Okay, this one's pretty tough, because I listen to a huge variety of music, so if I had to put it, I think my current favorite genre right now would be rock. When are you finally going to commit to the Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Hopefully my answers were satisfying enough for you to stick around till the end. As always, thank you so much for the continued support, and I will see you next time.